hi guys welcome back to sherry approved if you are new to my channel welcome and if you've been here before and you've been loving the content thank you so much for joining me again today um before we get into today's video i want to ask you guys to please if you do enjoy the content please click like leave a like on the video as well as subscribe it's really really important and it really helps my channel and i appreciate all of your support thank you to every single one of you who leave comments below the videos for those of you who share it and tell your friends and encourage your friends to subscribe i really 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 appreciate you all as we grow the channel together so thank you so much again for all your support and of course i want to know how you all go in and i'm asking it genuinely because i know i'm checking in with you guys um every week but so much could happen in a week so i hope that you all are doing well and that this space could be you know a little space for you guys to learn something new chuckle a little bit and have a little bit of fun right here and share your proof right so today's video um it's going to be another one where you may need to take out your notepads <laughs> i'm trying to space it out and not like you know like inundate you all with too much information at a time so while i do have a ton of products and a lot of reviews and information to share with you guys i'm trying to spread over videos and not you know make it too heavy but today is actually the response to a question that i got and it's kind of a challenge um somebody asked me sherry if you had to choose just five skincare ingredients, like five main ingredients that you want to have in your skincare, um, which five would it be? Uh, that one was a tough question. And I did think about it. I thought about it for about two to three weeks um, to try to come up with my five. And this is besides SPF, right? Because SPF is a given. It should be in everybody's skincare routine. So what I'm going to talk about will be the five that I will choose for my skincare routine. And when I tell you, this is really, really hard because you all know that I talk about so many different types of different skincare ingredients that I love, that I really enjoy having in my skincare routine. But these would be the ones that I absolutely cannot live without. And I'm saying that with a pinch of salt because there are others that I also, I don't want to live without them. This is hard. This is really, really hard. <laughs> But no joke, I want you guys to answer the question though, which five skincare ingredients um, do you absolutely need in your skincare routine that you know you cannot live without? Um, so yes, so before I get into it, I'll just remind you guys and I'll, I just want to preface it with some information and that is one, I have oily skin. Two, my skin is acne prone. A lot of people do believe that, but you all would not believe how easy it is for me to break out and i've learned a lot about my skin over the years testing hundreds and hundreds of products um so i i have a good idea at what you know how to treat my skin what my skin response to at least by now and um of course so i'm taking that into consideration in terms of the ingredients that i'm choosing um because of what i know my skin responds to but i'm also choosing ingredients that i also believe that i need especially at this point in time in my life maybe if you ask me this question next year next five years the order may switch around or something else that might be lower down may come up you know our skin changes as well so yeah we're going to get into it this is gonna be so hard <laughs> but let's go so yeah make sure and leave in the comments down below um the five skincare ingredients that you cannot live without um especially for your skin at this point in time so um <laughs> i'm not saying this in any particular order but i'm going to give you guys the non-negotiables first right so the first one would be vitamin c and you all know that i talk so much about vitamin c vitamin c is probably one of the most popular skincare ingredients or skincare terms that we're always hearing about because it is so well known for its ability to help brighten the skin and even skin tone and help to deal with things like hyperpigmentation now just to let you know in terms of how vitamin c helps that whole 
dark marks, dark spots, even in skin tone, hyperpigmentation thing is because it helps to impede melanin production in the skin. So when you already have a dark spot or dark marks on your skin, the, what happens in the skin is that the, the cells keep producing melanin, which is that thing that keeps getting darker and darker and darker. Vitamin C helps to prevent that melanin from being produced. So that's one of the reasons why it's so important and such a good ingredient if you know you're tackling dark spots and dark marks and you know um even other issues other types of uh, pigmentation issues as well so that's why vitamin c is very very touted but besides that which is one of the reasons why it must be in my skincare routine because i mark really really easily and i know some people get really frustrated like oh my gosh sherry i know you said you know patch don't pick and i'm not even touching my pimples but they're leaving dark marks like me i could not touch my pimples but they will leave a mark because some people are just more prone to hyperpigmentation than some um when a pimple is coming out into the skin that is a form of trauma and inflammation in the skin so once there is that trauma there is it is creating something in the skin a response of that is you know in terms of the healing and so on, there will be that spot there and for some people it's just worse and i am just one of those people for whom it's worse so vitamin c needs to be in my skincare routine but while it is well known for that there are other reasons why i like vitamin c in my skincare routine um another one is that vitamin c actually helps the synthesis of collagen in the skin and that's one of the reasons why it's so important even as i get older i'm really concerned about maintaining the elasticity of the skin the firmness of my skin i don't want to have like premature aging and all of that so that's really really important but one of the things and i i would have mentioned this before but i want to make sure i mention it now i Again, one of the reasons why I absolutely need vitamin C in my routine and you too <laughs> um, and why I particularly use it in the morning is because of its ability to fright, fight free radicals or UV damage because remember during the day there is going to be exposure to UV rays and while our sunscreen is doing what it has to to protect us whether it's reflecting those rays or converting it to something else depending on the type of sunscreen or you know the filter that you're using there is actually oxidative damage that's happening on our skin simply because of that UV exposure and vitamin C fights that and protects against that so vitamin C actually helps your SPF to work better and i keep saying this all the time but i really want you to understand that there's so many reasons for having vitamin c in your skincare routine and that's one of the ingredients that i absolutely cannot live without the second ingredient that i absolutely cannot live without and i think more so within the last two years especially and i would say especially this year um i have been stuck on even more so um, niacinamide and I have been experimenting with a lot of different brands and formulations when it comes to niacinamide but I am in love with this ingredient I absolutely cannot do without it and again for quite a few reasons and niacinamide is one of those ingredients that almost anybody could use like I have heard though of like a very very small amount of people that probably may have like an allergic reaction to it and I mean, when I say small, like really, really small, because niacinamide is actually one of those ingredients that helps to build your skin barrier and actually helps to reduce sensitivity of the skin. So that's why it's like very, very unlikely. But I mean, anything is possible because there's always a percentage of the population that could be allergic to any type of ingredient. But yeah, niacinamide helps to build your skin barrier. And especially when you're dealing with anything traumatic on the skin or any type of skin irritations and so on, that's one of the ingredients that's really, really important. And again, and in my case, I do um, fighting my acne and my breakouts, but sometimes I may, depending on especially environmental things such as the Sahara dust, I may sometimes get um, dermatitis as well. So it's really important for me to build my skin barrier. So that's one of the reasons why I have niacinamide in my routine. But another big reason is because you would remember that I mentioned that I have oily acne prone skin right and one of the things that really helped to balance the oil in my skin is including niacinamide niacinamide has a, a you know part of how it works is that it balances the sebum water content in your skin so that if you are dry skin it could help to bring up that hydration and if you are oily it could help to balance it so that you're not so oily 
No. What is one of the effects of that? And one of the reasons why and a lot of products with niacinamide, you see them advertising that it will reduce um, the appearance of enlarged pores and that's the reason why because if you would have seen my video on enlarged pores and I'll link it in the description box below um, one of the reasons why our pores can appear enlarged is because it's filled with extra sebum and dirt and all of that so if you have something that's balancing how much sebum your skin is producing and therefore if you are you were overproducing you start to produce less then you have less stuff that's gathering in your pores and then your pores will naturally start to appear um um smaller your pores are not actually shrinking but they will appear smaller because then it's not stuff to actually stretch it off you understand what i'm saying um so it's actually used a lot to reduce redness and inflammation in the skin and it's actually very calming to acne again another reason why i use niacinamide but another big reason for niacinamide is when you're also dealing with pigmentation and you will keep hearing me saying this because a lot of people will message me and say sherry like i need something for my dark spots and my dark marks and so on what can you recommend and they're always looking for like a one you know like one product and i always tell them like for me personally dealing with marks in the skin is a multi-prong approach so i use different types of ingredients because they all do different things and they work together synergistically to create the effect or reduce you know those marks and so on so nice and might how nice and might works it actually prevents the transfer of melanin from from cell to cell the actual pigment so whereas vitamin c will prevent the production the niacinamide will prevent the transfer because it's that transfer that will keep taking it higher and higher and higher into the dimness of the skin and then bring that pigment to the top and which is when you're going to see it right so niacinamide helps to prevent that so you see why it's so important to have niacinamide in your skincare routine so yeah, absolutely love this ingredient. And one of the things that I noticed as well is niacinamide. It improved the texture. Like it refines the skin. I find like if I skip niacinamide for a week or two, I can actually see my skin missing it in terms of the overall smoothness, how it appears and so on. Like there's just something special about niacinamide. And um, I will probably try to include some of my favorite options, but this video is not about like which products and so on. I'm just talking about the ingredients that I absolutely, absolutely must have. Ingredient number three. And number three and number four, I I, I put them like together to, to discuss them one after the other because these two have been the foundation of the, the response of my skin when it comes to breakouts and acne and so on. And again, I'm talking about what my skin responds to. It's really important for you to pay attention to what your skin responds to because these treatments work for me, but a different combination may work for somebody else. I want you to really, really get that. So ingredient number three is salicylic acid and salicylic for me is like my gold star when it comes to treating my acne like um there's so many things that treat acne a lot of people you know we look at benzoyl peroxide for example and some people um respond to that really really well that could also be really drying for me that does not work as well as salicylic salicylic works better on me um, tea tree oil for example some people respond really really well to tea tree my skin responds to that as well but salicylic just works better on my skin so that's why i'm saying it just you have to know your skin pay attention to what it responds to and why salicylic acid so you all would have heard me again also talk about this before salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid um the difference between that and aha is that a lot of us know about is that salicylic acid has the ability to penetrate through oil so it's able to get deep into the pore now what happens is that on a day-to-day -day basis you would have dense dead skin cells build up you would have oil and you know extra sebum and dirt and so on that would build up in your pores when that build up in your pores it's going to create clogged pores clogged pores will cause blackheads it will cause whiteheads it will cause pimples all kinds of pimples there are different types of pimples and different types of breakouts so the genesis of that is what's happening inside the pore and salicylic acid is able to penetrate through everything go through the gunk and go through the, the oil and the dirt and everything all the dead skin cells and then start to break those things up dissolve them and then get them out and my skin really really responds well to salicylic acid now if you are new to salicylic acid um 
it could take like up to at least six weeks to start seeing results because remember this is for me now it's an overnight i see results overnight but for if you're now starting it has some work to do to get into the pores and all of that so some people may see results faster but you want to give it at least six weeks to really start to see it make a difference in your acne if it's going to be an ingredient that your skin is going to respond to and there are a lot of options on the market um in general a lot of salicylic formulations will be around two percent because two percent in studies have shown to be effective um for me however i have spoken about this before but because they buy four percent salicylic has been bay for me that works so well on my skin so like this area of my face here is where i am most prone like if i have to get a breakout it's bet your bottom dollar it's going to happen on this part of my face i have no idea why but yeah if i get breakouts nowhere else it's going to be there and salicylic whether no whether or not i'm having breakouts salicylic goes on my skin every other night um because at the same time it's also an exfoliator so it's also helping me to prevent blackheads prevent and treat whiteheads as well so that's why it's always in my skincare routine so i don't just use it as a spot treatment i use it as an exfoliator and it works amazing on my skin so um yes yeah, salicylic acid what is ingredient number three ingredient number four and i said i'm putting them together and talking about them back to back is retinol so that gives you an idea because i did share in a video where i talked about how i treat my skin um especially when it comes to my menstrual cycle and all of that and i did tell you guys about my rotation between salicylic and retinol B. so on monday night i use salicylic on tuesday i use retinol wednesday i use sal sal salicylic on thursday i use retinol and that's exactly how my routine goes every single night that's the rotation that i use and all the other products that i use all the other active ingredients appeared based on on either salicylic acid or retinol so those are my base ingredients so why retinol because retinol is gold standard when it comes to preventing and treating fine lines and wrinkles from the time you get to 30 you want to start getting a retinol even if it's a very gentle one into your skincare routine but retinol is also the thing that is most studied for actually having these results and that and spf are the two main ingredients you need when it comes to talking about anything anti-aging or preventing premature aging in the skin so it's really important retinol helps to increase cell turnover and in it while acids work from the surface of the skin retinol work from below so retinol starts increasing that cell turnover from underneath now a lot of people who complain about dull or dry skin it's because it's a buildup of dead skin cells and so on and retinol is one of those things that will help because it will increase cell turnover it also encourages collagen production and elastin in the skin so it's also going to help you know keep your skin firm and prevent premature sagging i mean as we get older it's natural that our body is going to age and these things are going to happen so for for as long as we could delay it <laughs> especially if we didn't have the genes to you know help us out there it's going to really be really really important but one of the other main things that retinol is used for and why i also use it is because retinol is used also to treat acne and that's why like i said that's why i give you the base at the beginning because my skin is oily acne prone and therefore the ingredients that i'm the ingredients that i cannot live without is really really based on treating that and managing that and i think it's been working well because some of you don't even believe that i have an acne problem because i barely ever get breakouts now like i do but when i do i could get rid of my breakouts within two three days sometimes overnight because my skincare routine is that intact and retinol while it wasn't actually used for treating acne in the beginning um one it was one of the side effects that was shown in treatment of fine lines and wrinkles that people who had acne the acne was being controlled and it also because retinol helps to reduce sebum in the skin so if you're really oily skin as well it's one of the good things to help uh, manage that oil in your skin one of the things that you will notice as well when you start to use retinol is your skin starts to look plump like um i recently posted a morning skincare routine video on my instagram and facebook page you could definitely go check it out i'll link it below and um literally i did a morning skincare routine and that was my face when i just got up and i love how my skin looks after retinol night i'm obsessed like literally if i could use retinol every night i would probably do it but you also need to be careful with these ingredients and the strengths that you're using so um, my rotation of salicylic and retinol works perfectly for me so now we get to number five and you all are wondering like what is the fifth thing and 
this is this is so hard because the others for sure is going to be there and i think this should have been like a top 10 skincare ingredients that i need because there's so many other things that i absolutely love but i have to stick within the challenge right but i'm going to cheat literally cheat because this one you all could you all help me decide number five i have snail mucin and i have centella asiatica extract i can't choose and um why why i don't know like okay let's go through this process because centella you all know i always talk about this also known as sika it's one of the ingredients that i learned about actually both of these ingredients i learned about you know because of my passion and my love and delving into um asian and korean skincare but centella asiatica is known because it's antibacterial it's anti-inflammatory it helps um wound healing by increasing collagen production and reducing inflammation in the skin it also helps um hydrate the skin why i love it in my my skincare routine especially because centella calms my skin down like no other and sometimes when i, I get breakouts like especially if you, even if you get a mass acne and all of that like the redness that sometimes occur because of the irritation like when i put centella on my skin my skin responds like within 24 hours i see such a huge difference and that's why it's one of those ingredients like i don't think i could live without centella like seriously this probably has to be number five. I don't know. But did you even know, this is just a fun fact, that studies have shown, like, when centella is combined with vitamin C, that within six months of use, it has shown significant improvement in um, the firmness and elasticity of um, people's skin. And they did, like, real tests to, to, you know, check these things. So that's really, really interesting. And centella, like, one of my, I, I know one of my friends told me that she actually uses it in her hair. I haven't tried that yet. And she has been having really, really good results. But then the other ingredient for fighting for number five is snail mucin. And you all know how much I love snail mucin too because <laughs> snail mucin contains like some natural compounds, which is why it's so amazing in skincare. Did you know that snail mucin can naturally contains glycolic acid? It has some peptides. It has elastin. It's, it has hyaluronic acid. It has, it has allotonin collagen it also has antibacterial properties and that's why it works so well because i guess similar to centella as well snail mucin is one of those ingredients that holds also helps to heal the skin really fast and which is one of the reasons why people with acne can also like have a lot of great benefit with introducing snail mucin into their skin it seals hydration into the skin and you could really feel like see the plumpness in your skin um and the overall impro overall improvement in texture and so on over time um when you have like issues with scarring on the skin as well i feel like long term i have seen improvement because of snail mucin so like you all seriously snail mucin has so many benefits like even the dermatitis that i tell you all i get sometimes because of the sahara dust like if i get that and i start to get like some random dry patches on my skin I will literally put snail mucin on that and it will help it. So, I don't know. Y'all help me decide down in the comments which one should be number five for me because I don't know I can't choose between centella and snail mucin. But yeah, guys, I need to stop here. I hope you, you enjoy this video and you learn something. But I also like peptides and we need salmon, sperm, extract. And what about green tea? And, and you all noticed that I did not choose any AHA. No glycolic lactic, man. Oh my God. You all see where we're going here? All right, no, 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 we, 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 we ending right here. I give you all my, my five, well, almost five. You'll help me decide what number five should be and comment, leave your comment below. What are the five skincare ingredients you absolutely cannot do without? I see you guys in another video. Take care. Bye.